What's going on everybody? I just wanted to take the time today to talk to you about potato peelings. So, as most of you might know, potatoes are in the nightshade family and they produce a toxin called uh, solanin and can't really tell from the color balance but when you get a green potato that is a good indication that they're producing this toxin which it can be dangerous to life and we're going to talk about if it's going to be killing your worms if you should be adding lots and how I like to dispose of potato peelings So, as mentioned, the toxin solanin, or solanine, is what is present in the potatoes. This will hold back all the bacteria which is going to be breaking down the potato starches, and it's going to limit the decomposition until it starts getting really nicely broken down. So, once the toxin is gone, the worms will start getting into it, but while the toxins present, there is a chance you might see some of these eyes develop runners, little white roots which the tubers typically grow off in the garden. One other issue which kind of limits the amount of potato peel that I put into my worm bin is actually the residue it leaves behind. So let me just show you some residue I found in this bin which started this video. So here we are. Now, this is what your potato peel is going to start looking like when it's decomposed. It's not the most horrible material. Obviously all the starches have been eaten. But, personally, I find it hangs around quite a long time. And it's only that material, which means I don't personally add too much potato peel to my worms. As a nice little demonstration, this worm's probably got a population of about 2,000 And we're going to go with about this much. Very small amount. Get some nice fast foods in there as well. Some salad, beet, cabbage. Throw a little bit of shredded paper in to soak up the moisture. And then cover it. Now those potato peels will take a long time. Um... The ones I showed you were probably around four weeks decomposing in this bin. But that is why, personally, if I have a lot of potato peel to deal with, it goes in the outside composter for me. So, just a really brief conversation this week. I hope you found it informative. Uh, I thought probably best off telling you exactly why people try and steer clear of potato peel or potatoes in the worm bin. That gives everybody the power and knowledge to make the decision for themselves if they want to continue. So if you've liked the content, please do like the content. Uh, if you want to hang out for more worm farming based content, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, there will be a lot more gardening and eco-friendly options coming in the horizon. Lots of DIY, so stay tuned for that, and we will see you in the next episode.